So early in the morning, like 5.30, I got, you know, some fraudulent activity on my bank card. Well, shout out to Wells Fargo for immediately blocking the access, sending me a text, sending me an email, and they also blocked my card. So I went to the bank, figured it out. He said, just monitor it. It was probably a mistake. If anything, you can report, re report fraud on the number. You call the number on the back. They'll take it off. Whatever. So, okay, cool. And I only had $2 in my card anyway. And it was from, there was two from Russia. It was like a dollar in, a dollar out, some DV bullshit. And there was one from Silmar. The first one was zero. And then the two other times they tried to take 100 bucks out of my account. But Wells Fargo wouldn't let them. And there was only... <laughs> Under three dollars in my bank account anyway, so jokes on you, stupid idiots. So I did that yesterday. So I called the number and it said thirty to forty-five minute wait time. So I was like, yeah, no. So and I paid my Amazon. So once I get my car, she said your car's not canceled; it's blocked for security purposes. I'm like, cool. So once I redo this, hopefully the line is not long today on the phone call. Cards reactivated by Amazon Prime will go through, and I can use Prime again. But, you know, Wells Fargo is. So far, the security has been good. The help has been great. She pushed the two checks through immediately. I mean, within like, from the time I walked to the bank to walk to my car to check my bank out, she already had pushed those checks through. So that's some good Wells Fargo service. So now I'm going to probably sit on the phone forever. If it's too long, I'll just have the thing where they call you back, but I gotta get my card out and stuff like that. Yeah.